so i've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now uh, ever since i got done with my application process uh, believe me the hardest part of the entire application process is going to be the waiting time i do still have my job to keep me occupied but every little email notification i get it feels like uh, maybe some university might have started ruling out their admissions so like there is a lot of stressful and nervous energy involved so i thought let's take all of this nervous energy and try to put out some content that might be useful to other uh, students that are going through this process uh, i know that this format the which universities am i going to apply to format is pretty common on youtube and lots of people have uploaded uh, their videos regarding this but going forward i do plan to put out uh, some content that i myself did not find when i was going through this process uh, so if you feel like that is something that might help you uh, please do consider subscribing also so if you think i'm a little nervous on camera or a little awkward on camera Uh, just know that I am a grade A introvert, and this is basically me trying to get out of my comfort zone. So, without further delay, uh, let's get started. Uh, here is my profile. So, I am applying for masters in computer science. So, all of my observation and research kind of revolves around that. Uh, but you can take what you can from it, I guess. Uh, I scored around three hundred and twenty-seven in GRE. Uh, which at first glance it may seem like an excellent score but in my opinion it is just good mainly because of the break up of section wise marks uh, i got 165 in quants and 162 in verbal people usually find verbal hard but since i had an habit of reading and all that from a young age uh, i managed to score a little higher there uh, from what i have researched people getting computer science admits from top 20 or top 10 universities if you are ambitious usually have a near perfect quant score and they score a little less on verbal uh, there are exceptions to this of course but uh, this is the general trend uh, and the admission committee also tends to favor quant score uh, over verbal score for computer science which is uh, well obvious uh, i am basing all of these observations on previous years admission data for us universities uh, you can check it uh, yourself on admits.fyi Uh, I will add an link to it in description below. So, if you are planning to appear for GRE uh, and are a little weak on verbal side, uh, that's okay. Just make sure your quants is near perfect and you get enough in verbal to get a score of 320 plus. Uh, that should be more than enough. As for TOEFL, uh, most universities have declared or uh, undeclared cutoff of either 80 or 100. Beyond that, I don't think they really care about how high you score. Uh, people do usually say that scoring higher in language tests helps to get university jobs especially teaching assistantship or research assistantship uh, positions uh, which come really handy if you are going to be on a tight budget most of these language tests are pretty easy if you had an education in english medium so i scored 112 in toefl with about a weeks worth of preparation so my undergraduate college was a tier 3 college as they call any other college other than bits uh, when it comes to colleges i can confirm your college reputation or tier does matter uh, i have personally talked to university representative from uh, university of illinois chicago uh, who confirmed that most of the universities have their own scale according to which all colleges are ranked so if you score a 7 to 8 pointer in an iit the university is going to scale it up as compared to scoring a 9 plus pointer in in a tier 3 unknown college which probably will be scaled down uh, as scored a 9.02 cgpa at my university uh, which is i guess okay for the universities that i have applied to i do also have uh, a work experience of about 1 year 5 months at accenture uh, and i also did an internship at a local startup with no funding for about 6 months uh, as for my research I don't think work experience really matters when it comes to admissions to masters in computer science programs. Uh it does of course come into play when applying to business or business analyst or data science programs. Uh but it is supposed to significantly increase your chances to land an interview when you start your job hunt during graduation. So it might not be a bad idea to get some experience before doing masters. Uh and of course last but not least no research uh like most of the people applying i do not have a single paper published 
I do have one that is a, in a paid journal, which is kind of when you give money to publish your paper so that you can get those sweet college credits. But believe me, uh, if you mention those papers in your application, is going to harm your application uh, instead of adding any kind of footage. So just accept that you have no research experience and prepare your applications accordingly. Uh, this shouldn't be an issue if you are applying mostly to non-thesis programs, as I am. But yes, there are some programs that are very research oriented, and it's best to avoid wasting your money by applying there, in case you have neither the research experience nor the passion to do research in future. Uh, for example, I think uh, University of Texas Austin is famous for being highly research oriented. Considering all of my profile. Uh, these are the universities I decided to apply to. Uh, as of now, I am yet to receive any of the decisions from any of the universities that I have applied to. Uh, earlier, my strategy was that if I start getting rejects from universities that have rolling admissions, then I might consider uh, applying to more lower ranked universities but I guess uh, rolling or not they are just taking a lot of time to roll out their decision so I guess that plan has gone down the drain uh, going forward I am planning to make more videos on my GRE and TOEFL experience so if you think some that might be something that you find helpful please do subscribe uh, yeah that's all folks